ice cream conversation. Ice cream conversation. On the grind all day, every day Ice cream combos, always real, they never play Download the podcast, listen on any day Why didn't I do this sooner? Only thing you ever say Xavier, best host of all time All of the faithful listeners will say they never lie Check every story, they run like me with the rhymes When other shows report anything, it should be a crime Entertainment news, yeah, I gotta get mine From ICC and you should be inclined To do the same if you got half a mind I do co-sign this lady to shine like Frankenstein Cut it today, design IceCreamCombos.com Tune in, Tune in. Yeah. This influence flowing by IceCreamCombos.com Welcome to the Ice Cream Convos podcast, where we serve delicious scoops of entertainment and celebrity news. I'm your host, Xaviera. And I'm your co-host, Carla. And thank you so much for tuning in to today's show. Listen, me and Carla, we both down bad. My stomach bubbling. I don't feel good. My lymph nodes feel like they're swollen. (laughs) Oh. Oh. Uh Uh-oh. I'm afraid that I might have long COVID. Ah. I, gonna, I am, really? You think so? Yeah, I'm really concerned at this how point. How long ago was it? Um, how long has it been since? I think I had. Co- was it February that I had COVID, or was I it think, early March? I feel like it was February. I feel like it's been definitely longer than I think it was February. But yeah. you had it for a while, so it was like that's yeah. Wow, I'm, and you still feel like you have. And I well, symptoms. I've had I've had COVID. For, how many times? I think there's three or four three. times now. Three, right? At least three. At least yeah. three. Yeah. But this last time, it just I had that long lingering cough after the fact. Like okay. I, I don't test positive anymore, but it's just like I just never felt like I got back 100 percent after that. Oh, but, so now that um, sucks. Yeah, and I want to tell Starbucks to kiss my behind, right? Because when I woke up this morning, I didn't feel good, and my throat mm. felt a little weird. And I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to go get a, a mocha chocolate latte, <laughs> uh, which translates into a hot chocolate. And right. um, I got it. I ordered it. I got a tall, right, which is supposed to be, I guess, like, I don't know, Starbucks lingo, but I, I'm assuming it's like a medium, maybe a tall. Which okay. sounds wild. Yeah, you- I don't know their lingo at all. That's why I'm listening okay. to you. <laughs> right. And I might be wrong. It's somebody right now yelling at this podcast. A tall is not a medium. <laughs> um, but I thought I ordered a medium. So she hands it to me. And I'm like, you know, this cup feel really light in the ass. It's not I light took- in the ass. Though. Yeah, it felt real light in the ass. I took the lid off. Girl, why the cup was only filled three quarters of the way? First of all, y'all already charging me $5 yes. for a hot chocolate. Yo, that thing better be filled up with. Okay. I don't know if you get the whipped cream on top or not. I don't know how. The minute I lean this cup, the minute I lean this cup, stuff should be spilling out. Yes. Why is this cup three quarters of the way? If I felt up to it and my hair didn't look like a bird's nest, I would have went in there and let those people have it (laughs) for playing. I just, you know, (laughs) you need to stop. (laughs) I am in this mode right now where I feel like everybody playing in my face. Yeah, you're in your bag. I ain't even gonna hold you. You definitely in your bag, but hey, it is what it is. Get- I mean, come on now. Five, first of all, inflation ain't funny. Straight and up. And then I'm paying $5 for a hot chocolate that I could have bought a whole box full of Swiss Miss for $5. Yes. yes. Are you a Swiss Miss girl? Not oh, a Nestle yes. girl? No, I like Swiss Miss with the okay. little with the little um fake marshmallows that, that uh, you know, the hard joints that sit on the top. The yeah. like, like the marshmallows at Lucky Charm. <laughs> They're like, damn, that thing is hard. You said they lucky charms. <laughs> Remember how lucky charms marshmallows used to be hard as hell. They're you magic and delicious. <laughs> Don't play. What you're not going to do is sit up here and shit on lucky charms. We're not playing. <laughs> not going nah, to. nah, nah. I'm just saying that marshmallows are similar. But no, I hear you. Like the price, I feel like this. Anything I'm paying for now, it, it needs to be perfect. The, what they charging us? We're literally getting less for more, and we're paying more. Absolutely, Nuts. absolutely. Listen, while you playing, I have been riding around Loganville. I live in Loganville, and I have been riding around Loganville, and in the Walmart parking lot, 
I am noticing more and more OnlyFans decals on the back mm-hmm. of people's cars. Whoa. Decals. decals yes. that's, how they, that's how we getting down. That's yes. branding. <laughs> it is branding in Loganville. Like it will literally be like Damn. a little, you know, OnlyFans, like their logo is written kind of in cursive, I guess. Yes. yes. And it will be like OnlyFans forward slash Zabiera. On wow. people, like decals in the pack, back. How many of you, like how many you think you've seen? I've probably seen about at least three at this point. Damn. Three at this point. And Loganville ain't that big. Nah. And I'm like, yo, we busting it wide open in Loganville. That's what we doing now. Shout out to Loganville. And you know, the Lord only got to show me something three times for me Uh me to start feeling like Uh it's a message. Uh Uh-oh. (laughs) Uh-oh. Let me find out. All right, now. Don't have me on OnlyFans drinking uh, (laughs) Boca Choco Ota Lattes. (laughs) <laughs> because y'all better start clicking these links and reading these blog posts. I am Boy, I, please, listen, please listen. Wow. I am one decal away from being on OnlyFans in Loganville. They might be getting. I wonder if like some of the ones that you're seeing with the decals, if they like are friends or 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 what I don't would you know. call it peers? I want to I want to try to get one of the names like just to see like what we really doing out here. Yeah, yeah. I'm you curious. know what I'm saying. I'm like, curious. I ain't gonna hold you. I want to know. Like damn, what it what what what. what I guarantee you that they're probably affiliated though. But what's What's crazy is like, of course, when you hear OnlyFans, the first thing you first thing you think is something freaky or nasty, but OnlyFans is just a fan subscription platform. I live in Loganville. So it may be Mm -hmm. some people on there chopping wood. It might be people on there trying what to do kind of wood? Come on, stop playing. You play a game. We listen. We ain't talking about YouTube. You tell you say we're trying to talk just, about your grown ass people. <laughs> <laughs> you say what kind of wood? <laughs> I sling that wood. I, I like just how you did that though. I like how you did that. yeah. I slang that wood. I just nunchuck them. <laughs> okay, I see what you did right there, Bestie. You kicking it off early. No, that's I like you. That. You did, but no, like you're right. We do have to look at. You have a good point. Do people use OnlyFans for like regular stuff though? Mm. Non-sexual, I'll say stuff. Do they? I think so, but it's not a lot of them. I mean, the ones who really yeah, making the bread, <laughs> right? Right. If you want to make, you know, some chunk change or something. Okay, you want to make a little change? You can teach me how to crochet. <laughs> but <laughs> if you if you want to get a monthly subscription, oh, am I but it's naked though. That's <laughs> that's the thing though. Hey, hey. <laughs> let me stop. I ain't gonna give you no ideas. Don't give me no let ideas. Me, let, me, let me stop. Damn, I will bring new to the platform. <laughs> What's so crazy is like, you know, I mean, OnlyFans is like, it, you know, it explode. It ex- oh, I can't even talk. It exploded during the pandemic. True, but. I'm going to tell you the one OnlyFans that I did not expect. And you mentioned it. And now I just can't unsee it or unthink about it. And it's four yeah. from Black Ink Crew Chicago. Uh, uh, I'm so mad. Like, I am so fucking mad <laughs> that, that I was even introduced. I don't even know, like, how I found out. But it, 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 oh, my God. I blame Twitter. Twitter told me. Yes, I think it was Twitter. Like, I blame Twitter. Me. And I was like, I was like four. Okay, four. Because, you know, four is kind of cute. Yeah. And Don, you know, four and Don, just to right. be fair, four and Don are um, attractive. Att- I can't talk today. Attractive. They are, are attractive right. brothers yes. and attractive black men. You know, Don is like family. You know, Don yes. is ICC. Yeah. But I don't know four personally. And I'm kind of glad I don't because I don't know how our conversations would go from this point forward. Because, baby, <laughs> I went to his timeline mm, and mm, saw mm, four mm, doing mm, some mm, things mm. I never expected in my entire black ass life to see four <laughs> doing. I'm talking. Yo, about- it's too much. It's too much. Go ahead. You go on and tell them. <laughs> no, me got to tell them. <laughs> yes. For those that don't know, y'all, I know oh. most of y'all didn't probably. Seen it just because I think at one time did he go like somewhat viral over something? I just can't put yeah, my finger on it. Yeah, he went viral over something. Um, first of all, he is having just all like just flat out cheek clapping sex. Yes, on his OnlyFans. Um, I saw him in a dog collar being uh, walked. I seen yes. him being walked like yes. a dog. I seen him in a um, what do you call it? A crate. You saw him in a. Girl, yeah. bye. <laughs> and the creek, the, the kennel thing, or whatever you all see. You saw him in a crate. Yes. 
So the collar, Carla. Man, the same. yeah. Carla Shaquana Brown. You saw him in a I'm crazy. I'm positive unless I'm mixing him up with something. I had to be Oh, him. my dear Lord Jesus. It was either him or one of the girls. Maybe it was one of the girls. Because it, like, it was a whole thing with like the chicks, right? A crate. Oh I've seen a God. lot, and I'm so mad that I've seen it. Like, I might Hold be on, I'm about to go much. to his timeline right now. You Please remember what do. his name is? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you to put me this Wait. So, for me, I was taken out of my comfort zone when I saw his bussy. Yes. I was not expecting to see Forrest mm -hmm. bussy. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> At all. Listen, as soon as I went to his Twitter, the first thing I see is content warning. The post author flagged this as showing sensitive content. And it says, wake up early and get the worm. Let's see what he's showing me. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Hey, we going and going he, down that. Oh, um, <laughs> so this involves... Um, mm -hmm. lubricant. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, here's one thing you cannot say. <laughs> yeah, see, you, I don't know how you're gonna clean this thing out because he just he goes too far. I can imagine. You know what? It's crazy because he makes my how can I say this without y'all side eyeing me? Four makes my inner pervert blush. Does that make sense? Yeah, man, I hear, I, I feel, I hear what you're saying. Like, he just even though too. there's certain things that I'm just like, you know, like, okay, say for instance, if somebody's nudes leak, you'd be like, mm. what? Let me go see real quick. Just, I just right, need right. to see. Like, <laughs> or it makes me feel like I shouldn't have went over there to look. Yes. I should, like what I'm looking at right now, like, mm. hold on. Let me show you what I'm looking at right now. Hold on. Hold on. Girl. Please hold. Cause he just goes to, to me, he just be going. I'm just going to show far. you. And then we're going to move on. Cause yeah. the people at home, like, I can't see. Yeah, can't see. exactly. Um, Y'all, once we, you could I'm put wondering. his. No, I was thinking about reaching out to him to see if he'll come <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I would love to, like, I'm not judging. It's just some things like I love, but some things is just not my, you know cup of tea and I ain't judging and if and that's the way like the cool part that I love about it is that somebody feels like free enough to to do that you know what I mean so okay I hold on that. all I right the courage so, okay here's here's the courage that he's given us this morning oh wow okay <laughs> what thing you ain't gonna say is Wait. he a part of the itty bitty that's right, exactly. we're not that's gonna like, do okay. that Okay then. <laughs> all right, all right. Now see that that's that's good. That's okay. That's good content. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get a little five dollars a month out of you for this. <laughs> Let me just subscribe Man, real quick. Listen, you I know. don't know with me the way this inflation set up. Uh, that oh one, my yo, goodness! I can't afford it. nobody. Uh, Charlie fans, right? Carla. Now. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Carla. Uh -oh. Carla. Oh, my gosh. It's Carla, too early. I said I was going to move on, but Carla. It is early. Carla. Yes. Carla. Carla. Okay, you see where that's going, right? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Wait. Are yes. you serious? I promise. I promise. <laughs> We may need to start recording this podcast over. <laughs> Baby, I need to tap out. No. Yeah. I need to tap. Why are you not kicking it off? It's too early. It ain't even noon. Why are you playing? Uh, Y'all, we just saw four. We just saw four getting his oh cheeks my gosh. clapped. All right. So let me go ahead and put this phone down. Wow. Let's put it on Do Not Disturb <laughs> and let's start this podcast because I was not expecting it to go this way this early. Um, just for those who are curious, just uh, oh, go to Forrest Twitter and you will yes. know exactly what we saw this morning. OK, Man, um, over there. Yes. All right, Carla, let's just let's just wrangle ourselves and together, because right now I feel like we we <laughs> I feel like we jumped off a cliff right now. Um, 
before we move forward in the podcast, I do want to take a moment to extend our sincerest condolences and prayers to the family of DJ Mr. C. The yes. legendary New York icon passed away. Um, the news came out yesterday mm. at the age of 57. If you are not familiar with Mr. C's legacy, he went to high school with um, Big Daddy Kane. He rose to fame as Big Daddy Kane's DJ, and most notably, he discovered the Notorious B.I.G. Yes. Um, Mr. C is, I, I just personally feel like the most iconic DJs in hip-hop came out of New York. And he Fact. is definitely, you know, if there was a Mount Rushmore, Mr. C would definitely be on there. Absolutely. Um you know, throughout his life, he there were some controversial moments, but we'll go ahead and just let let them be where they are. Um, yes. And you know, considering the situation at hand, but uh, definitely a blow to the hip hop community. Oh yeah, a huge blow. Mm -hmm. a huge. And blow. Um, you know, his talent is unmatched. His legacy will forever remain. Um, I saw something. I believe I wrote it myself. Hold on. <laughs> it, it was just um, the phrase was just like not only did he leave leave a mark on hip hop, but he also leaves a legacy for other people, like almost like a blueprint for other DJs who yes. are coming up in the years to come that they that can look so at him and be like, yeah. So yeah, um, I agree. Yeah. So the Lord said, told the finisher that he's finished. He can come home and rest now. Oh so. yeah, condolences yeah. to the family. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the eclipse. Carla, did you look at the eclipse? Child, no. Look, the crazy part was like I was outside doing like some yard stuff mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you could just feel like it get kind of cold. And then it's like a mm -hmm. shadow. So like my back was facing, but I, I was out like during it. But no, I didn't. You know, I was just doing my regular thing. Well, I had did the you? little glasses. I had the little glasses. And yeah, I, I had went the glasses. Outside. I didn't use them now. I'm going to tell you, I, I'm just going to keep it a bean. Like this Eclipse stuff, y'all made a whole big deal out of it, but I was disappointed. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. It was very underwhelming. And it was <laughs> underwhelming for me because I lived in one of the demographics who only, I didn't get a full nighttime during the daytime. Yeah. I wanted a full nighttime. I wanted right, it to feel like a horror movie where I was going to have to run back inside the house and close the door and lock it <laughs> because I didn't know what was going to pop out when it got dark. You'd had to ride to Texas. And what was close? What's closer to you? Texas or Kentucky? And I'm trying yeah. to think of some of the places. A lot yeah, of people go down to Texas. Out, right? I know a couple people that, yeah. Yeah, with mm. the Texas. Yeah, some of the um Texas ICC friends, and I think New Mexico maybe. Yeah, is it New yeah, Mexico? They're all like, in like area, yep, yeah. yep, that same little area. Mm -hmm. So they got the full blackout and got the full experience of it. But I went outside and I was like, now it did get a little dimmer, but it got dimmer in the way that when the sun is out and a and a storm is coming, right? You same know how thing. Like, yeah, you know yep. what I'm talking about, yep. like that little overcast type of dim, right? But Man, I wanted. I was expecting a full blackout. And another <laughs> thing, just just out of curiosity, with something of the magnitude of an eclipse, a solar eclipse that is already all over the news and all over the media, why do y'all think y'all need to take a picture of it with your cell phones and put it all oh, up and down my social media timelines? It's attention. I mean, we all look at me. I got the picture. I got the. I, it's that whole. You know how it goes. Yet some I, people literally just rode down to Texas just for the, the shot. And I get that for like a personal thing, like if you want to keep, but a lot yeah. of it's social media. A lot of it is to say, hey, look, look at my shot. I got it. And I mean, there is nothing it, magnificent it. about looking at it. It just looked like a little dot yeah. with, with a little glow around it. Yeah. So it's not like something mind blowing, but it's the I, hype, I guess, of it. And people just, I don't know. Yeah. I did hear someone say that the most illest photo that they did see of the eclipse, somebody was in a plane. Oh, wow. Uh, that'd be amazing yeah i'm gonna have to look that up i'm sure that's floating around yeah you know i had to pray a couple times where i went outside with them glasses because i just feel like murphy's law is right next door to me and i was like <laughs> lord if these glasses don't work and i end up needing a cni dog who am i gonna blame <laughs> you would have who to stare though <laughs> for a long period of time that's another thing the hype of this like who's gonna directly stare into the sun anyway right you can't your reflexes automatic 
Okay. Right. And then it's like, why would you? Like, I remember as a kid, I, it was just funny to me that they made a big thing on the media. I think that was to sell the glasses, of course. Mm. Um, we learned that in school. I remember learning that in elementary school. Like, mm. if there are ever solar eclipse, you can't look into, you know, directly. I'm dead didn't, your, didn't your 46, was it 46 president try to look at it? Child. <laughs> listen, you can't tell me nothing. Listen. <laughs> He tried to look at it. <laughs> oh, bless his heart. Bless well, his and heart. Hillary Clinton. Yeah, let me tell you something about Hillary Clinton. Mm. That is a shady ass lady. Any <laughs> opportunity that she can get to post some shady shiznit about Donald Trump on social media, she going to do it. They all, sh- they are like, it, it's just funny to see politicians now use social media. Like mudslinging has always been a thing in, mm-hmm. in, in politics. Mm-hmm. But to see it play out, like, mm-hmm. because now you get, they get looser. Like, you can get a little more looser than you can with an ad. Listen. I love it. <laughs> I, at this point, I'm like, I just, y'all just want to see y'all fight, right? Exactly, which will never let, happen. Let Bill shoot a fair one with Trump. <laughs> Girl, I would pay top dollar. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know though. I don't think you. I don't think who you think gonna come out on top gonna come out on top with that one that we want to come out on top. Oh. I think Donald Trump will whip his ass. You think Donald Trump will whip Billy? Yeah. Really? Trump, Trump got. Uh, don't Trump got ADHD? And this is no offense to anybody that my son has. No offense, but you, everyone knows anyone that has ADHD, and I'm not. I'm an advocate for it. You ain't got, everyone, to, you ain't got to explain yourself because no, I got ADHD. Is, you, have, we, you have extra energy. Oh. Right? That hyperactive disorder. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying that. And he's younger, right? Isn't he younger? Yeah, but you look at that tub around that waist, though. I'm saying that's weight behind but, the blue. No, no, no. Hold and on. I'm not, I am not no, no, a Trump no, no, fan. No, no, no. no, no, no. I, I, know you ain't, I know. I know you don't like Trump. <laughs> Let me hold on. Hold on. Because I feel the debate coming on. I feel. First <laughs> I of all, you got to take into consideration Bill Clinton's wind. This N word yeah. played a saxophone. I, so he true. got long wind. They the do. one thing that happens in fights is people get winded, Carla. Don't. I. I but are I we can talking see about him. a fair fight? Are we? Are you, are you talking about a legit like with rules fight? Or are we just talking about a like a, a out street brawl, like a squabble? Mm. <laughs> like, talking, oh, they squabbling now! Oh, they squabble! <laughs> <laughs> I want to squabble. I want to squabble. Because a squabble, so. I got Trump. If we talking about a real deal, like a fight with like legit rules, I got. I will have Clinton. But you know, so, Trump would get dirty. Mm. I can see Trump doing all kinds of. Mm, yeah, he is. I just see him getting winded, man. That little yeah, but if you could fit, if you could cheat the win, like that's why I said if it depends on like a big back, like (laughs) (laughs) just see him getting winded. (laughs) At least Bill can put on a suit. Absolutely. That's why I said Clinton has Bill has the fight fight. If we're talking about a a, a legit fight, okay. The squabble on the street. Uh, No, that's interesting. Yeah, that's man. interesting because that could be wrestling anything, and even though he got that belt, like if he get he get Bill on the ground, it's over. <laughs> what, it why was I literally sitting here thinking like, <laughs> don't get him on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the worst thing ever. As someone who used to fight because I had to, somebody you get small. you on the ground and you little like you a shorty do wop. You a shorty do wop. But that's why you had to come out and you had to come out quick. Bop bop bop. You had to come Word. Out fast. <laughs> windmill in the whole nine you got to fight for your life you hear me don't let nobody get you on the down. ground take them down first yes she... that is wow. so funny i can't believe we even talked about present that, Girl, that, i told you, you i told you i entertain that you got me entertaining that shit. <laughs> oh my gosh yo that's mm-hmm. wild yes okay just randomly entertain me just mm-hmm. because i mean shit we already going downhill at this point <laughs> else would you want to like who are two random people that you would want to see in a fight so famous people yeah. celebrities yeah. um and fight i kind of want to see that 50 cent um stevie j fight <gasps> i think that would make a good celebrity like that would make they a gotta good bring fight. that celebrity i see there's like several different platforms that are doing like i don't i don't think i don't think they are really doing I don't i really don't think let me tell you why i really don't think the celebrity boxing match stuff like will really come back and take off because the way people can get roasted on social media, I think nobody's willing to risk Uh, taking an L in front of everybody. Yeah, You know, at one point in time before the social media era, you know, we used to have the celebrity boxing matches Mm -hmm. and and things of that nature. And then I think, wasn't it like a 
TV cartoon or something like yes, celebrity death. It was match. like a claymation, I think. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, the yeah, claymation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as far as like just a, a 50 cent and a Stevie J like really getting in the I ring, wish. putting on I, like, no, you oh have a good point. Gosh. No, you have a really good point. I it's wish you put them egos it's down. Ego. I know. Mm. You have a good point. All we're going to get is like D list, yeah, F list that doesn't need like, to pay their rent. Yeah, like uh, God rest his soul, but Aaron Carter and like Lamar yep. Odom, that should have never been, no, should have never been a fight. No, it's never been a fight. Or or but, Peter Guns and C and um Cisco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that is outrageous. Wait, but isn't Tyson your right fight? Uh Jake Paul. Jake Paul, yeah. And I wow, still feel I haven't even seen. I feel like it's fixed. I feel like it's fixed. You do. And I'm very I'm so nervous because I feel like it's fixed. Mm -hmm. I feel like Tyson uh -huh. is gonna throw the fight. Just to okay. just to elevate Jake Paul's name in uh, in that field. Ah, look at you. Ah, because, you might be on to because something. first of all, Mike Tyson don't need fighting clout no more. He, he don't. don't. Need, and what's he, Tyson like fifty seven? Like fifty seven? That part yeah. he can easily say, "I'm dog. I'm damn near sixty years old." Right. Like right. Post fight. That's post true. fight. He could say, "I don't need this boxing clout." Yeah. I'm damn near That's sixty true. years old. That's true. I got a dispensary. I got a popular podcast. I'm still in shape. I'm in shape enough to beat your daddies and uncles up at the barbecue. <laughs> so I don't really need to beat Jake Paul in the fight. Think about the purse that he gonna walk, he's going to walk yeah. away with yeah. after fighting Jake Paul. That's, and then Jake Paul. That don't elevate his. That, 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 that right there. Just, yeah. Out of here. Ah, I love that. I beat I Mike like Tyson it. on I never Netflix. I thought of it like that. I never thought about here. that. Yeah. Tyson gonna throw that fight. Yeah, he just better make. He just better not make it look like he threw it. I that's know when that's what it's going. Off. Yeah, me too. Me too. I think everyone will, and that could back. That whole thing could backfire if it doesn't look real. Yep, it's not gonna work it, for Jake either. Yeah, exactly. It's not like we'll have I to come it, back to this. When is the fight? I'm gonna look at that. When are they supposed to July. fight? July. July. Okay. Uh, okay. Of course, you know, I'll put out all the tune in reminders and everything. Yeah, I know you will. I, know you I don't will. want no situation where Jake Paul punch Mike Tyson and he go. And spin around on his heel and fall out. No, no. Everybody in the room go ahead to fight me. Why you say I like the uh the Jamie Foxx? The Jamie Foxx who played Mike Tyson mm -hmm. all over the Oh my gosh! And 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 I think Michael Jai played him in a mo mm -hmm. in a movie, right? A mm -hmm. couple people mm -hmm. played Tyson. Yeah, uh, you just gave me a whole different because I, I was trying to figure it out. Like, why would like what is in it for Tyson? But I love how you laid it out there. That's and I like I said, I hope they don't. It's not obvious. Yeah, it just better not be out. Y'all better, y'all better bring in Steven Spielberg or y'all better bring in Antoine Fuqua to do this cinematography and to do the directing because this thing better look like some top tier blockbuster movie. Because yes. right now y'all playing in my face. Don't yeah, play in my real. face. The fact that they're even fighting each other, they're already playing in my face, but y'all just better sell it. Yeah. Sell it. Yeah, to me, that's Eddie. the thing. You gotta sell it. Sell it to me. Or it's not gonna work. It's just it's not gonna work. Because I already feel like the fix is in. I do. Yeah. I do. Damn. You might be here. Right. We'll see. Um, we'll come back to it. For me, mm -hmm. I would like to see. <laughs> Let me think of something random. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to go with some girls. Let me pull some girls. Yes, please. Because that's what I was just thinking about. I'm like, I can't even think of. I feel like it's some girls. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell oh, you. Oh, I got two. Go ahead. I, you go oh, I, I'm going to tell you who I want to see fight. And I don't, it don't I, need to be Netflix. All it need to be is y'all in the club and one person swing. And I'm going to need everybody to back up and just let y'all fight until somebody yell, break it up. I want to see Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. Yes, that's what I was going to say. So yeah. MF and yeah. bad. And I know this is not going to get me into heaven, but I want to see them ladies <laughs> fist fight so bad. Can The, the level Cardi. of animosity against oh, yeah. them two girls. First but of all, that's an age thing. To, I mean, I feel like that's a win versus not. See, I'm a listen. It's gonna be a whole lot of folks, man. I got Cardi though. If it ever went I do. down, I got Cardi. I do. Yep, the regular degler schmegler girl from the Bronx <laughs> who had crooked teeth and still got on the internet and talked to y'all like she. Yes. Yeah. And let me yeah. tell you something else. Them strippers, 
They can fight. Hell yeah. They can fight because they got to fight for their money. They got to fight your, yep. they got to fight your baby daddy off of them in yes. that private room. <laughs> they got to fight. They have to fight. They have to Thanks. fight other strippers because Straight the up. other strippers always mad because yep. you done made more money than them or when the yes. ballers came in, you was infringing upon they rights. No, yeah, them strippers real. can fight. Yeah, for real. And she got so much pent in. I always felt like mm. when it comes to the Nikki Cardi thing, like she's going to like if she ever fought her, she will. Well, she's taking the most. I feel like it was mm. Nikki talked more shit than she did. I mm. always felt that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a, uh, you mm -hmm. know, I'm not a Barb and I'm not. What's Cardi? What's Cardi's? Uh, uh the, the Barty. The Barty. Yeah, I'm not. The Barbs and Barties. Yeah, the Barbs okay. and Barties. I'm not. Mm. Right. Sounds like everybody should just come together. <laughs> okay. And just, okay. which is just they would make so much more money. Oh and my god, it would be incredible to like mm. see those two come together. Imagine mm. a tour, the amount of money. Yes, that's what I'm saying. We've never seen it. Have we ever seen two top female hip hop artists tour no. together? Not even two male artists, because I know well no, because Jay-Z and Nas came out on stage and performed like a song or something right, like right, that, but right, they never true. embarked on a full tour, fledged, yeah. full out tour. You know, that shmoney. Yeah. At least two top. It's, I, that's a problem in our culture. I don't think we've ever had two. Like, have we not even just hip hop? Have we ever had two like just. Mm -mm. But it's not just our culture because the Rolling Stones never toured with the Eagles. Child. Yeah, but you'll see the boy bands tour together. You see that well, right now. And sync and, and Backstreet, yeah. they'll be out there like, I want. But they're not at the top. But this is what, right. But that's now. That's now. Back then, would they have? So no, you have hell a good no. point. Mm -mm. You have a good point. Nope, they wouldn't. Nope. They would have never. That's interesting. That R. Kelly Jay Z probably would have been the best mm. like tour if that would have continued. If Tata didn't Remember pepper spray that? R. Kelly. <laughs> R. Kelly was like, bad, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Little did we know that Tata was doing the Lord's work. When right. He, when I know that's right. R. Kelly. We, we had crazy? no idea. No, he was we doing didn't. the Lord's work. Well, we did. We did have an idea he was doing the Lord's work. Yeah, we just not. had selective memory <laughs> because R. Kelly had did that nasty issue. Been out in the before. streets. Yeah, he'd been out in the streets on okay. that. That's true. We just that's had true. selective memory. That's true. And that just goes back to the fact that we always argue, depending on how much you like a celebrity, you will let anything slide. Yeah. Depending on how much you like them. Yeah, true that. And true. and and your and your morals and your whatever yeah. man if we could ooh, ooh. so imagine if uh, trailer mm -hmm. got Nicki minaj and cardi b to do a no i don't even want a celebrity boxing match i want some straight up to everybody take their nails off and they wigs off <laughs> i want both of y'all to come to the ring with corn rolls to the back <laughs> And I want sports want bras fight, on fight. and I want boy shorts on because I don't want nobody titties popping out because we got a lot of <laughs> we have a lot of surgery coming into this. Right. And <laughs> we don't need any type of, you know, <laughs> surgical mouth, you know, right. situations just come in here. And I I really feel like but man, the one thing I would prefer more than seeing them fight is to see them piece it up. But at this point, I don't think it could ever, ever, you know, there's a point of no return. And I think mm. they have literally crossed the point of no return. The yeah. only thing that can bring those two ladies together right now is God. Y'all can't even get Louis Farrakhan to fix this. Remember back in the day, all the rappers used to be like, call Minister Louis Farrakhan. <laughs> Y'all got to call Jesus Christ. Yeah. Of Bethlehem. And of it's Nazareth. not even like when you sit down at the end of the day, it's not even like that deep. You know what I'm? It's not that it's deep. It's not at all. that the origin isn't that deep. It's the fans. It's the fans really making it deeper than what it really is. I honestly don't think those two. I know they don't like each other, but I think it's more deeper the, with oh, their yeah, fan the base. Fan, the fan bases are awful. Yeah, it's the fan. Because as you get older, you much like you're supposed to, and that's why I'm always shocked that Nikki like. You should be embracing like you're, you're at a point in your life where you should be looking at things like, yo, the less beef I got, the better. And well, I'm trying to build. Yeah, I, I'm not going to go down the Nicki Minaj rabbit hole because first things first, uh, I'm not <laughs> even in the right mindset to fight barbs this week. <laughs> but yeah. All right. OK, well, th that was um, a spiral. So let's go ahead and take a break. <laughs> I know y'all. 
You'll probably listen to podcasts like, yeah, they, both of them on meds right now. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. And and we are. We are on meds this morning because um, we don't feel good. But let's go ahead and take a break. And then when we come back, uh, we'll go ahead and get into a few of our topics um, that we have on the docket today. All right. So go ahead and grab a drink of water. Go ahead and take a bathroom break and we'll be right back. Okay, ICC friends, we are back. And thank you so much for tuning into today's podcast. As always, I encourage you to be a part of the show by dropping down in the comments and letting us know your thoughts, views, and opinions on the topics we discussed today. And I also encourage you to like and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. And again, just thank you for listening. Um, Carla, so mm-hmm. I, it was funny during the break, I was thinking, you know, we always have our little sidebar conversations. And I was thinking to myself, like, you know, you know, we said that we were going to be like more transparent and just speak our mind a little more on the podcast this mm-hmm. go round. you know, because in the past we cut up, we, the tomfoolery and shenanigans are always going to be on deck, but we always censored ourselves to a certain point because right. we didn't want to get canceled and we wanted to be politically correct and we <laughs> didn't want to upset people or fan bases. And I was thinking the other day, I was like, could could we actually handle, I think it's more me than you because you don't really like, you know how to tap out, you know how to tap out, disconnect from social media, like protect your peace. You know, I'm in these streets. I get mad when people like posts where people, but that's because you work, but because that's where you live, but you live out. Like it's a different situation for you. Right. That's what you do. Yeah. So I'm, I can, I can when you can't, so you know what I mean? It's it's different. But I thought to myself, I was like, would I be able to handle if you and I said something on this podcast that Mm -hmm. went viral for some reason Mm -hmm. or we got backlash or there was an attempt to cancel us? And Mm -hmm. I thought about it and I was like, I feel like we could handle it. But Lord, I ain't asking for it. (laughs) <laughs> Black Jesus in the manger. Yeah, I'm not like, asking for it or not. Nah, we ain't asking for, for that. We're no, no. We definitely I'm not just, looking for it. But at the same time, like this is a space. This is a conversation. We should all we, mm-hmm. we're supposed to be able to say how we feel. And I think we just got to a place where we can't anymore. Nobody yeah. can. Everybody's so yeah. damn sensitive. That's not how real life is. That's not how real life conversations go. Like absolutely social media. You know what absolutely. I mean? So. Nah, you can handle it. If it ever does, we can. We definitely can handle it. And I'm not bringing it on like I ain't because I'm yeah, not. Yeah, we're not looking for it. We, yeah. We're not purposefully trying to egg people on or push people over the edge. Right. But I do want to create a space on this podcast where we can speak freely and we can share our real thoughts. Um yes. Without, of course, we don't want to be offensive or anything like that. You know, it's a difference between being honest and then being just downright offensive. We don't want to be offensive, but we definitely will be injecting a little more transparency and honesty in how we truly feel about certain things. Because it's funny, you know, we were just talking and Mm -hmm. we were like, I wonder how people gonna feel about us saying we want Cardi and Nikki to fight. I'm like, let the hoes fight, (laughs) you know, but at the same time, I do get it. I mean, we're two black women saying we want to see other women fighting. But we're talking about like celebrity fighting. I'm not, we're not talking about like flat out, just I'll I'll catch you in the street type of stuff. Something that they will both profit from. We That's why you got to listen to the whole show too. Everything is in context because we were talking Mm -hmm. about celebrity boxing and we went from back. bill clinton fighting yeah. trump down the cardi fighting right. nikki so so don't but ever yeah. listen to a piece of what we that's the problem too yeah so and that's why i ain't getting into all of that yeah yeah so we're not explaining thing. ourselves yeah. but we just want to let you know this is what we yeah. finna to be doing so yeah. speaking of saying something that's gonna piss you all off let's talk about j cole because uh, <laughs> child <laughs> oh lord add y'all man Ass. so i've never seen black folks so mad i don't i'm trying to think of the last time i seen black people that mad I'm one of the black people that's mad. I am Carla. And you know, and it's crazy nah, I because like I have been listening to a lot of dialogue about this whole J. Cole situation. If you don't know what we're talking about, of course, you know, Kendrick Lamar fired shots at Drake and he threw a little pew pew over at J. Cole on future and Metro Boomin's track like that. Mm-hmm. First of all, that light track, that light, that track, oh, that yeah, song the track itself. itself. Yeah. Makes me want to put on a ski mask it and does. ride through somebody's neighborhood at night, pick a house and run up in it. <laughs> I'm just saying. And it's something about the way Metro uses like that whistle. Oh. It's like that, like that whistle ad lib at the 
Oh. And like the begin, I think like I think the first set of bars he uses oh. it in others. I love it. I don't know how he do it, but it's like I'm a huge Metro fan now. So listen, I said on Twitter that if I was a stripper, I would only dance the Metro Boogie. Yeah, beat. that's all he. Yo, it's the best. He knows how to go Metro get up the airborne. I'm listen, just, I had to throw him out there real quick. He knows how to go get those gritty hip hop. Mm-hmm down south with a f <laughs> yes those beats that a play in a in a long pimped out car with 26 inch rims in the trunk <laughs> rattling like those the tr- type of tracks that metro boomin giving you but even at the beginning of like that i love that song so much because when the song starts you know the beat right that and then Future comes on and Future goes, uh, zoom, 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 zoom. I don't know what he said, <laughs> but baby, <laughs> whatever Future said in that little, uh, 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 zoom, zoom. I was like, who else could mumble this fly? Yeah. He's got that mumble, little mumble. He is that, the face of that, of mumble. <laughs> but him and Metro Boomin is they're like a musical marriage mm-hmm, that should are. stand the test of time. Yes. He just said, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what he said, but it sounds so good to me. But anyway, J. Cole. Mm-hmm. So Kendrick Lamar fires these shots at J. Cole and Drake on like that. And Kendrick went off. Okay, depending on how you look at it, yeah. some people was like it was a little pew mm-hmm. pew, and some people was like he was like. Da, 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 yeah, da, I felt da, like it was to me. I, no offense, I felt like it was like a twenty-two. Like for Kendrick, that was a twenty-two. He, yeah, I I loved it though. I still was like, oh yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah. Okay, so I loved it, right? Mm-hmm. Because well, we'll get into it. So he fires that. Mm-hmm. So now everybody like, okay, what y'all gonna do, Spider Man memes? First person <laughs> shooters, what y'all gonna do? Drake, <laughs> J. Cole, what y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna say something back to Kendrick? Y'all just mm. gonna let this ride? What y'all gonna do? Okay, two weeks go by, I guess. J. Cole drops this mixtape. Might delete later. I'm gonna delete it now. <laughs> okay. So the mixtape is solid. Let's be fair. The mixtape is solid. And then mm. J. Cole, at the very end, he has a song called Seven Minute Drill, where mm-hmm. he fires back at Kendrick Lamar. Mm. Now, I have never heard a diss song where an N word sound like he lying to himself, let alone <laughs> us. Okay. I'm just going to keep it a bean. I'm like, okay, let's see what type of lyrical bars J. Cole about to throw at King Kendrick. Right. right. What is Coley Cole getting ready to give to K-Dot? <laughs> and it was almost like the only thing that I can compare it to, and some of you may remember this, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you won't. The only thing that I can compare J. Cole's response to Kendrick Lamar to is the time um, Cameron was on 106 in Park. Remember when Cameron had the beef with Nas for a little bit? Oh, yeah. Cameron was on 106 in Park, and he attempted to talk ish to Nas live from 106 in Park. He told them, put the camera on, put that camera, put the camera right here. And he had attempted to say some slick stuff to Nas and Cameron's bottom lip was shaking. Oh my gosh. I don't remember that. That's funny. Oh my goodness. Me and JB get such a good laugh out of that to this day. Cameron's bottom lip was shaking while he was talking trash to Nas. He was stuttering. Mm -hmm. It was like in that moment, he was trying to convince himself Mm -hmm. that he had a lyrical chance, a lyrical ice cube chance in hell <laughs> of going bar for bar with Nazir Oludara Jones. Okay. <laughs> so that's what I felt like happened with Kent, with, with J. Cole. And there were some people that was like, oh, J. Cole eight, J. Cole eight, J. Cole. You just, nah. ly- you lyrically told us that the man that you have been praising and that you put in the big three. Got mm-hmm. trash albums. <laughs> you don't even believe that. Yeah. We don't believe that. But okay, for the sake of hip hop, I listened to it. I called JB and I was like, this ain't it. <laughs> J. Cole tried. It was almost like you getting ready to fight. Let's go back to the celebrity fights. Mm-hmm. Kendrick jabbed him. Pop. One time in the mouth, right? Mm-hmm. Now he over there windmilling on Drake. But mm-hmm. for J. Cole, it was a bop. J. Cole swung back and missed. 
<laughs> you know when you swing at somebody and they dip to the side, uh, right? So J. Cole swung and, and Twitter was eating J. Cole up. Damn Cole was trending. Nah, Cole was trending. <laughs> like it was trending all week. All the podcasters got like, what, bro, dog, what is this? And then J. Cole was like, you know, don't make me have to be like the New Jack City meme when Nino had to shoot G Money. Like he basically was saying that I love you. I don't want to have to do this. But if I have to do this, I will do this. <laughs> it was a pillow soft response but <laughs> hey, Jay, Jay just okay that's what you wanted to give us okay right so right. his fans was caping all oh, this this wasn't nothing but a warning shot how do you warning shot a dude who jabbed you in the mouth but okay if that's mm. y'all want to call it a warning shot we're gonna call it a warning shot fast forward less than 72 hours later j cole got on stage at his dreamville festival and called himself lame and goofy <laughs> for responding to, for for just indulging in this rap beef with Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. He apologized. Um and I think speaking of Nas Uludara Jones, there was a line mm. in a song where he said you pop shit and apologize. <laughs> and that is exactly what J Cole did. Of course, in the year of our Lord 2024, mm. he wrapped up the apology in mental health because who's going to talk about who's going to go against mental health in 2024? <laughs> right. So he encased his apology in mental health. I couldn't sleep. It didn't sit right with my spirit. I had to realign. I had to get on Jesus <laughs> on the main line to realign my spirit and blah, 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 blah. I literally mm. sat up in my bed at 6 30 in the morning and called my husband on his way to work <laughs> and said, You're not gonna believe this. He said, What? Right. I said, J. Cole apologized for dissing Kendrick. I don't know if my husband <laughs> pulled over on the side of the road. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Probably. But what Probably. I'm saying is, and and <laughs> and then what really Push me over the edge was watching everybody say this some this some real grown man ish right here. This what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I can see it in your face. I see, I see your face, Carla. They're like this <laughs> some grown man ish. We applaud him for this. This what I'm talking about. All y'all want to see is two black men tear each other down. This some y'all. I guess I'm just the person who want to see two. And it's not that I want to see two grown black men tear each other down. I come from an era mm -hmm. of hip hop where you put it on wax, you keep it on wax. Right, right. And y'all go bar for bar, word for word until somebody tap out. And I ain't talking about tapping yeah. out on stage with an apology. I'm talking about you drop a diss so hard that the other person act like they never heard it and it, that it never existed and they never say <laughs> nothing else back to you. I come from Ether, Takeover. Mm -hmm. I come from Who Shot You, Hit yeah. Em Up. I come from No, no Vaseline. Vaseline. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is Eva what, Common. What was it? It's the bitch in you. Eva it's Common. It's the was bitch a... <laughs> in you. This is where I come from. Right, this right. is what I grew up in. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So this is my morals and my beliefs. And this is where I come from. And the one thing I applaud J. Cole for doing whatever it is that he need to do for his mental health. But when I tell you that that light skinned young man from North Carolina can never get on another track and tell me that he the best. He can't. <laughs> you he can't. Mad. Yo. He you, can't. Yo, I know it's so funny. I was like, she gonna cool down by time. We can't. No. <laughs> Every time I think about it, I get mad again. He can't. He can't because nah, bestie, I feel you let's know. talk about it. Mm -hmm. Let's talk. No, because you love hip hop as much as I love hip hop. So I'm going to shut up I, in a second when I get done <laughs> this rant and I'm going to let you go. But you got to give me like two more minutes. Nah, you I'm going to look at the clock. You, good. you can. There are elements to hip hop. Let's oh, talk yeah. about the true elements of hip hop. Let's start with the foundation of hip hop. Mm -hmm. It's MCing, beat, uh, break dancing, and graffiti. Mm -hmm. Those are the elements. So let's slide into, let's section it out. Let's go into <laughs> the MCing part. Right. The one thing about hip hop that makes hip hop hip hop is the vibrato. Mm -hmm. You don't get on a track and be like, mm. you don't come up future like, mm -hmm. I'm number two. Number two, <laughs> I might be the best after Drake. <laughs> Nobody does that. Everybody says they're the best. And we have watched J. Cole. J. Cole has been 
training for this for 10 years. Every great mm. MC in hip hop, with the exception of Andre 3000, <laughs> has been battle tested. Right. If you think about it, when we talk True. about our greats and we talk about our legends, y'all said Jay-Z is the greatest rapper of all time. And Jay-Z, in my personal humble black ass opinion, took a L when Nas dropped Ether. Mm. If Jay-Z can That's a still, dumb fact. That's if he a, can, Thank you. Come on, yeah. Bestie. I okay. know, because I know a lot of, we know that, that Nas won that. Everyone, I mean, even New York it's said some, it. It's some Delulus. It's still some Delulus Yeah, but floating. it's fact. It came out in New York. New York said Nas won. Okay. Jay-Z took a L to Ether. That mm -hmm. man still survived. He still lived to fight another day. He still be out here talking about he the best. But it wasn't no social media back then. I'll be wondering too, like mm. if this is the new like social media be breaking y'all spirit. <laughs> Go ahead, Bestie. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up because I here's the thing. I still have love for J. Cole. Oh, yeah. I put on Born Center the day before yesterday. I had to cut mm. it back off. I, I just I had to cut it off. I'm not ready yet. That's I all. Not, yeah, you ain't ready yet. I'm not yeah. ready yet. Let you down. It's a disappointment, I, and I get that. Like I come from the same era. Like I that this is the part I wish he never apologized. I feel like if he didn't apologize, we'd have been like, all right, that was just a whack ass this like comeback, and we would have moved on. Mm -hmm. But I think the apology is what is that's what got you tight, right? It's the apology. I, it's the it's the apology, and it's him tapping out. I mean. I don't no, necessarily but, look at it like tapping out because mm -hmm, to me that this was out. more directed at Drake. Maybe I'm confused then too. Okay, so let me, talk to you. Too. let me talk to you. Ooh, this is mm. our first hip hop debate. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. And I've no, listened no, to no, the no, song no. probably twice, so I'm okay. not gonna be no no no. Here's why I feel like he tapped out, Bestie. Mm. I feel like he tapped out because again, Kendrick windmilled on Drake. Right. He said he's gonna put for all the dogs in pet cemetery. <laughs> that it don't get no deeper than that, okay? Right. He fired a little shot at J. Cole with the bop. And the bop was, mm -hmm. ain't no big three. It's just right. big me. Yeah. Because J. Cole coined the phrase, the big three. Mm -hmm. J. Cole decided that him, Drake, and Kendrick Lamar was the big three. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you put yourself, J. Jermaine Cole? Cole. Mm. How do you put yourself in the big three? It did back, but you it did. don't even feel confident. Because right, I I y'all can't convince me otherwise, and I and just don't even bother. If y'all get down in the comments, y'all can say whatever y'all want to me in the comments. Matter of fact, go in the comments and let me know why you think J Cole apologized. Because I feel like when J Cole dropped Seven Minute Drill on Friday, if ever everybody was like, "Oh damn, okay, Kendrick, what you gonna do now? What you gonna?" We wouldn't have got that apology on Sunday. No, we wouldn't. Have. That's why I think social media plays a big part in this whole thing. Absolutely, social media killed J Cole spirit. Yeah, because first of all, and that's J where the mental health comes in because we okay. all don't deal with social media the same. That's a fact, and I'm not saying that as an excuse mm -hmm. or anything, but I believe the social media triggered whatever, mm -hmm. and that's what we ended up with the conclusion is the, the apology because just in hindsight, I will say that I don't believe J Cole even believe what he said about Kendrick Lamar on that record. Nah, but he had to come up with something like, but he had to come up with something yeah. like, that's like how you diss Jesus. Mm -hmm. You be on the track talking about you turn water in the wine, but the, but the wine was whack. It wasn't <laughs> it was, like, how do you diss Jesus? Yeah. There are certain, and I'm not saying that Kendrick Lamar is on the level of Jesus. Don't get me twisted there. What mm -hmm. I'm saying is there are certain people that if you look at them a certain way, I couldn't get on a diss track and diss you. What I'm going to say, cause you know, the, you a good mom, but you be tired on Saturday. Yeah. Like how you diss somebody that you have such a high level of respect for, right? True. But you still separate that in hip hop. Yeah, the old hip hop though. I'm telling you, it's something. You it's without social media. It. I think social media play a big part. I feel like if social media was back with Jay Z and Nas the Ether, Jay Z would be crushed. I'm telling you. Here's another thing. Here's another people feel it, it, literally we probably wouldn't even get the Jay Z we see now because the way people was talking in the street. Imagine the greasy stuff mm. they would have been saying online. And you know why Jay Z so private? And so we wonder why Jay Z so private and he's not on social, probably to protect his, his mental health. Yep. 
Beyonce too. Beyonce will drop some pictures on y'all, but she ain't gonna talk to y'all. Yeah. She not going, well, I don't know what she be lurking. You know, sometimes they be lurking, but most people I think lurk, even though they're not on, they're watching. I don't, they're, they're all watching because you care as a celebrity. You got, I, I think that comes with it. You care what your fans think. And I feel like, okay, so you made another point. I feel like J. Cole got a rude awakening through social media. Every time J. Cole dropped True. a song or a feature, it was, yo, that boy Cole, though. Yeah. Oh, my God. That boy Cole. That he boy Cole. Side. He got he booed. Saw, he got, he booed. got booed. And what did yep. T.I. say? If you live by the applause, you'll die by the booze. He got a lot of nerve. It's so funny that he made that thing. Of all people. Can... <laughs> of all people. Of all people. But it applies go... right here. Yeah, that's true. The that's applause gas J. Cole and he couldn't handle yeah. the booze. Yeah, that's true. Because he has been on the top and you're used to being there. You're not used to, you're used to people yesing and, and cheering, but you're not used to, and I, you had a good point. But I, I think the apology is what, and I'm, and, and you know, it's so funny you said that because it's mm -hmm. like, this is why I feel like hip hop's falling apart a little bit mm -hmm. because the, the beat, the battle, the diss song, and like you go to, when you go back to the golden era, that's what made or break, not even make or break you, but that's what like elevated that. Like people would go back and stream older. It, it, it worked out for both, both people. I know I'm all over the place, but that to me is what is like the heartbeat of, of hip real hip hop. Yeah, it is the heartbeat. It, and it's it, like, I mean, you go back you, to Kumo you, DLL. Like I'm just thinking about the early gosh. days. Like when, uh, when Kumo D, Hey, I don't know why an MC Chan. Yes. Come on, man. But like, I, I don't know why, like how you like me now still to this day sticks out mm. more to me. I, than, like, like I can't remember. Now. Yeah. I can't even remember what LL I'm trying to remember, but it's so LL and cannabis. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. That mm. was some of the, and see that's, that's, and that's so funny because LL like mm. trashed mm. his career. After mm. <laughs> yeah. mm. Shout out to cannabis. One of the best. Okay. We've ever seen. I think cannabis okay. was too. Ahead of his time. He was so yeah. lyrical. He was. It went over our heads a lot of it. Yep. Like, you know who reminds me of cannabis a little bit? Lupe. It kind of reminds me of okay. cannabis. Okay, I can see that. Sometimes. I but, can see that. Like, yeah. Didn't he? Didn't Lupe get in the, uh, in the mix throughout all of this somehow? I feel like I feel Lupe. Like did. Who, did, who did Lupe get in? Lupe just get dropped into something. It I think Lupe just dropped something new, but I feel like. Lupe be he, mad though. Lupe be big mad. Lupe stay mad. We do. He, and he got swords now, so leave him alone, yo. <laughs> not, the, not the sword. Let me find he out. He got swords. Samurai. He <laughs> liquid swords now. Leave him alone. He <laughs> just leave him alone. Don't mess with leave Lupe alone. He put that skateboard down. He ain't kick pushing no more. He's swording. <laughs> He's sorting y'all up. Leave, leave, him, him, leave him alone. alone. Leave him alone. That sword work and liquefy your organs. Okay. Not you ain't ish for that. <laughs> Liquefy your organs. <laughs> Get Claudia Jordan on the line. <laughs> we need to understand. Call Claudia Jordan. <laughs> How would he get liquefied? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you are awful. Oh gosh, no, um, sorry. but no. Okay, so just let me wrap this up because you know my points with J Cole. Um, oh yeah, nah, I feel you though. I feel like two things. It, well, mm -hmm. a couple things. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you why I feel like J Cole apologized. I feel mm -hmm. like J Cole apologized because number one, he lied on that record. He do not believe Kendrick Lamar is trash. He don't. Nah, he don't. No, so no way either. He, he that's if I ever put out a diss song telling y'all Carla trash, just laugh at me because <laughs> y'all know I don't believe that. And same here. You already know. Yeah, it's bullshit. He don't believe that. He, he don't he just believe had to come. It. I think he was being lazy too. It could have been him being lazy. But here, but here's why. Here's why I'm not buying the apology, the mental health, and all blah 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 blah. blah. Mm. J. Cole is an emotionally intelligent and an intellectually intelligent black man. You didn't have to, you're not going to tell me that you felt pressure to everybody telling you, you had to respond to Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. You're not going to, I'm not as a grown ass man. You, you got, you have children. You are a father, right? You right. have children now in the essence. Now, 
wait because now I'm I'm double talking out of side, both sides of my neck because in the essence of hip hop you are expected to respond to a this right if right. you're gonna if you're gonna stick to the essence of hip hop it's almost like you can't jump into a fight swing on the person miss and be like you know what I, I'm my bad I'm sorry I apologize yeah, yeah. now nah, you get that's true true that um so. I, as you can see, I have so many mixed emotions about this, but I will say this. Tight. You ain't play. Listen, I'm, I'm a true hip hop head. I love it though. But that's I'm because tight. we come from. That's why that's the, I'm telling you, that's why it was the golden era. Because he had the option of not saying nothing. Yeah. You had the that's option of the not saying anything and just letting people wonder what that diss would have sounded like if yeah. you had responded. You and that's had, the thing. Yeah. You could have dropped. That mixtape might delete later and that last track not be on there. And people would have been like, Psh, yo, Cole's so nice with it. If he had responded to Kendrick, I don't know. You know, Black yeah. people love to be yeah. like, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. If he had responded, I don't know. But what you did was you jumped out there. And I think it was a situation of he jumped off a building and realized he didn't know how to fly on his way down. Ah, I feel like yeah. that's what J. Cole, yeah. he jumped off yeah. that building and realized he didn't know how it's to fly. too late though, you already jumped. You jumped. So basically what you did on your way down was you called God and asked him to pull that big bouncy net out to catch you at the bottom. And you pulled out the mental health or, or, net. Or, 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 he had that wingsuit on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I could fly. <laughs> I believe I could touch the sky. But you, but you are so you so silly. You right though. You're absolutely right. That meant that was. It was almost like remember when you would go on Apollo and you make sure you you perform a gospel song. Yeah, so the people you. don't boo you. Yeah, it's something. Yep. <laughs> so the people don't boo you. Yeah. Yo, yeah. and it's just it told me a lot about J Cole though. Um, you know J Cole. Okay, mental health bag mentally, you know, all that. Okay. I, again, I'm not going against nobody trying to protect their mental health. Mm. Okay. I just feel like he jumped off the building and realized he couldn't fly. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then to add, okay. Even the apology, mm. even if he jumped out there and was like, you know what y'all, I ain't really for this beef shit. I right. you know what I apologize for jumping. He could have said I apologize for trying to do something that ain't really me. Yeah, but then you gonna say, don't y'all think Kendrick Lamar the best rapper? To oh, so you basically now you bowing down, <laughs> you laying on your sword at mm -hmm. this point, and then mm -hmm. you say, hey, big bro, like if you feel if you if you took it personal, you know, hopefully you don't, but if you took it personal, I'm sticking my chin out. I just take it on the chin. Now you yeah, told me you realistic. scared. Yeah. Now you told me you scared of Kendrick Lamar. You told me you scared <laughs> of that man. So yeah. I, and guess what? It's okay to be afraid. It's certain people that I'm afraid of in this world because I don't know if they rap too tight. Right. right. And so it's okay to be afraid, but what you cannot do going forward, Mr. Jermaine Cole from North Carolina, <laughs> you cannot get on no more tracks talking about how you the best and nobody can see you and nobody can say nothing to you at this point in time, going forward, you are a talented rapper who is good with words. Wow. You didn't strip him from his, you didn't strip, you didn't, you didn't chip him down. You didn't knock him off the mouth. I snatched his big three chain off of his neck and I'm, I'm, I'm just going to fold it up and put it in the top drawer. You know, we put everything in the top drawer. Yeah. Just tuck I, it away. Cause it's not too late. It ain't too. So you no, don't no, think no. if he comes no. back with no. like, Nope. Nope. Why? Nope. Nah. Even if he got in the that. studio nah, right I, now and did a diss, like even if I'm not even talking of, about a diss, I'm just talking about a track, like a hard ass just track. Like I would be I like, I would be like, it's sonically, it sounds good. <laughs> but he can never. Nah, he's if, still up there for me. He can't man. be, he that, can't be in the big the three. <laughs> he can't be in the big three. No. How you so then who create, you replacing with? Who you how you gonna create a group and then you ain't even built the big right? But who you gonna replace him with if you take him out? Who's who's his? It don't need to be no big three. <laughs> just, just no more big nothings. Everybody, every man for theyself. No more big nothings. You coined, right. you created a group that you weren't even built to be in. That's nuts, man. You listen. That's yeah. nuts. Right, you can't strip everything. I, I don't think that that I agree no, with what you're I'm not, saying. I'm not stripping everything. Maybe not top Bestie. three, but he's still top five. Easy, Bestie. I'm not stripping everything. He's still exactly. talented. He still makes good music. 
but I better not hear him talking about how nobody <laughs> can step to him and nobody can this and nobody can that because we watched you lay down on your sword. And then here's the other thing. Here's why I'm calling BS on the mental health. Cause I said, I applaud him for protecting his mental health, but here's why I call BS on his mental health. Why he didn't lose sleep when he was dissing no name. Why he ain't lose sleep when he diss NBA young boy. Now the mental health part don't come in until you get, you get booed. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's the everybody that's that's the thing that's why i'm like that social media is a depending on how you set up it, it, here's it, the it, other thing that kind of i found interesting um the other thing i found interesting was i'm gonna just leave jay cole alone i'm gonna leave him alone because i'm just <laughs> yeah you got you t- no i i feel you tight right now i get like i told you it's the heartbeat but i think that between social media and a lack of like him just to like you say he jumped off the building he jumped out there and then when he got once he got booed and nobody was like cheering him on and saying this shit is the hottest he apo- he just should have never apologized for me it's the apology he i should have just went home and prayed that, about it and let it, yeah, let it go yeah yeah the apology but here's was horrible. the okay no I, i'm not gonna let it go here's what i over here's <laughs> what i heard i heard that after kendrick dropped his diss on like that, that him and J. Cole was on FaceTime for four hours. You don't sit up on FaceTime for four hours with an N word that you don't like. Right. Right. That's true. So they basically had a conversation and the conversation was, this is at this point, we just, we just going to go bar for bar. This, this is nothing more than just lyrical miracle. We just do, we going to mir- lyrical miracle. We don't have to worry about no crews shooting each other in the streets. Right. We don't have right. to worry about no East coast, West coast. It's just going to mm-hmm. be lyrical miracle. So if me and you got on the phone and I threw some shot, I threw shot. I really, really twirled on the light skin dude from the North. Okay. <laughs> I threw a bar at you only because you was standing next to the dude. Right. So mm-hmm. that's almost like I'm swinging on, I'm swinging on Drake, but I accidentally grazed your cheek. Right, right. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. So I get on the phone with you. We talk for four hours, and it's like, yo, I, I'm I'm shooting at this dude right here, and I'm sorry you got grazed. Mm-hmm. But now that we got everybody's attention, let's let's go, let's mm-hmm. go. So you can drop yours, and I could drop mine. And I feel like when J Cole said, and if you feel some type of way, you can go ahead. I'm gonna take it on the chin. He is getting in front. He is getting in front of whatever Kendrick Lamar is about to drop on his locks. Hell yeah. It's just that I just, something in my spirit just don't sit right. But ain't J. Cole the same guy? I feel like J. Cole did something like this before. And for some reason it's burning me up and I can't think of it. Not to this extreme, not like with a heavy hitter, but with another rapper, I feel like he had this whole sit down thing where it was like, let's come together. Let me a pop. Hmm. Oh, um. What's the kid's name? The kid SoundCloud rapper, Lil Pump. Mm. You don't remember that when Lil Pump I remember had Lil like Pump that stuff. F that F J Cole song mm-hmm. or whatever. Okay, and I, I think that. like literally J Cole sat down with him. Mm. All right, well J. So, no, I'm just saying it's not. I'm like J- I just remember the J, J. The J and J Cole is for Jesus. J Cole is <laughs> hip hop Jesus. He want to do the he want to do right. He want to do miracles and he want to fix everything, but. <laughs> What he can't do is get on a track no more and tell me nobody can see him lyrically. He yeah. can't do that. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Ain't no big three. It's just big Kendrick. It's just, big, it's just Kendrick. It's just Kendrick. Well, you know what though? I there's a lot of rumblings about Drake is about to I'm drop be- something. Yeah. So let me ask you: Do you think the light skinned boy from the north? Oh, I, I, can get I, with Kendrick? I, I, I'm personally, I feel like I, if I had to pick who's better, I'm, I'm going to go with Drake. Drake has a, a huger impact on hip hop than Kendrick does. He does. But to me, to me. And I'm, I'm more of a Drake fan than a Kendrick. I like Kendrick, mm-hmm. um, but I like Drake. I like Drake better. Mm. So if I had tickets to a Kendrick Lamar concert and a Drake concert on the same night. And I had to choose where I was going. I would go yeah, see Kendrick. I would go, I would go see Kendrick. Okay. Okay. But Drake had, I feel like Drake has a bigger catalog of hits. Yeah. Drake has broken records and things, but then it, but you know what? It's, he has a bigger almost, impact too. You don't think he has a bigger impact on hip hop? It's hard for me to call that 
in the sense of it's yes and no. I feel conflicted on that one because it's like what 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 elements are we speaking to as far as the impact? Because it's like oh my stomach is style growing. style a lot of so many people like we listen to music now sound like Drake. You don't yeah. hear a lot of people. St- I'm just like, looking at Kendrick. Like Kendrick is a Pulitzer Prize. Like he has a Pulitzer Prize. Yeah, like, they're, they're definitely like, like apples this. and oranges. But yeah, it's we, like gotta, like we have to compare the two. That's like, Nas and Jay Z yeah. weren't. They're kind of totally different. One was a yeah. storyteller. The other yeah. one was a punchline king. Yeah, so you're always going to have like that something. Yeah, yeah, something. So yeah, I mean, in the grand scheme, if I know, oof, I feel like the people's choice would be Drake. I, because Absolutely. you know what I feel like I feel like Drake okay I'll give you this I feel like Drake appeals to more people uh, like oh, yeah, absolutely. more more demographics right yeah you know you'll have somebody's yeah. mama talking about kiki do you love me yeah. you, you know but then like the, his law is very Wow. Yeah, but then when you have hip hop purists that be like, mm, like most deaf that you know, yeah, like, mm, yeah, mm, mm, yeah. Mm, mm, <laughs> you know, the purists, the purists can pick apart Drake. They're gonna go, yeah, if yep. you just and they're love- gonna go with Kendrick, and that's the, mm-hmm. and that's that you're you're right about that. And don't get me wrong, Kendrick is like you. If I flip flop him easily. Like it's mm-hmm. yeah. if somebody says Kendrick is one and Drake is two, I'm not bitching. You yeah. get what I'm saying? But as long as you have those two in a one and two conversation. If I had to listen to one person's catalog for the rest of my life, it's probably Drake. going to be, I pick Drake. Yeah. Because Kendrick got, Kendrick got those hits, but everything Kendrick put out don't be bopping. Right. And one thing about Drake, Drake going to keep you bopping. Yes. And he's so I don't know about that Unt, Unt album. I have, I have, I haven't even turned that <laughs> no, thing didn't. on. I'm not doing that Unt's Unt's album. But first of all, first, let me rewind. First of all. And I'm gonna be honest with you, like Colt. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I I I owe. Excuse me, Mr. Aubrey Graham. I owe you an apology <laughs> because you literally mentioned ice cream conversations in a song, and I got yes. the nerve you to be playing? sitting up here playing you in your up face. That's why. Listen, I got you, Drake. <laughs> <laughs> playing in your face. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Mr. Graham. Now he Mr. Graham. Mr. Graham, I apologize. Hey, how you flip it up, sir? <laughs> sir, sir, <laughs> sir, Mr. Graham. Sir Graham. Drake is probably going to go down. Real talk though, like a lot of people don't want to talk about it, especially the hip hop hip hop purists, like you would say. Yeah. Drake may go down when it's all said and done. Okay. As the biggest. Because mm. think biggest about how long much like, of all biggest time. The what? Of all one. time, and people are going to get mad, and we're, but I just think like between he has so like his catalog. His Imagine catalog he's got good. so many years left. Drake got something for everybody. He does. Like he has something for black folks, white girls in college. He got yes. something for everybody. Yep. He does, and he has a lot everybody. of music, a ton of music, a ton, uh, yes, a, a ton of music. You're right, but I'm not messing with that uns uns. Y'all can have that one. <laughs> not doing it. Y'all can keep the uns uns. <laughs> no, no, keep the unts unts. Oh gosh! Wow. Shout out to Drake and Kendrick and yeah. J Cole. Yeah, but that's hey, not a big thing. Oh, I'm gonna need you to please, please drop something because my best. We gotta bring her back. We gotta, we gotta bring her back. I feel he you can, though. He it makes me too. It made me drop. Like I know, definitely not top three. No, but top no, five. and not even that. You can't. He can't say nothing about. I feel you. You like you can't say like it's almost like. The person that doesn't vote that won't come out and bitch about policies and laws and stuff. Boom. Not even that. Let's talk about Drake for a second. Mm-hmm. And then I'm not, and then we can go because my head, I'm getting a headache. I don't oh. wound myself up so bad I don't got a headache. Listen, <laughs> Drake, you mentioned Drake. Drake appeals to a wide audience of people. Right. Drake has an incredible catalog of music. Drake is a record breaking rapper. Yes. Drake, he, I mean, I think he broke Michael Jackson's record or tied it or something. He did, he did something like that. He yeah. did something. He messed, he done messed with the Beatles, Dr- yeah. Michael Jackson, <laughs> all of them. Okay. Yeah, like these are huge, like huge, huge records, yeah. milestone records that yeah. have been sitting for a quite some time. Mm-hmm. Okay. But even Drake is battle tested. Even Drake. True. Yeah, is battle tested. True. He may have took that L. He did. To push, to push that back to back. <laughs> but the way he chewed Philly up in that damn back to back, Meek Hill ain't. Meek yeah. Hill, mm. 
he, yeah, Meek he Mill did. Couldn't. I'll give him that. Okay. I'll he give is him that. Battle tested. Yeah. And the thing is, straight Drake is not only is he strategic, he's clever, and oh, yeah. he's petty. Yeah. Very petty. I think he the petty is. might go back. The petty level may buck higher than the than the than the than than all the rest. On. <laughs> all the rest. That you got, that's a good point. He is petty. Yes. Petty ass I love light it skin biracial man. <laughs> So not only what y'all fail to realize is Drake got some kin in him too. Yeah, okay? true that. Straight because up. y'all y'all be looking at a black man, but it's some kin in him too. And for those who are lost, kin is the counterpart to Karen. Nah, you just made a good point. Drake got and it some come out every so often. It come out a lot. Him. First of all, let's talk about the shots that Drake used to fire at that Kanye to send Kanye off of his mental yes, health. For no reason. And he'll fire over the edge. No re- yes. <laughs> over the edge. Kiki, do you love me? That's what they call Kim Kardashian yes. and her family. Kiki. Yes. The man is petty. I'm laughing because he do. I just thought about it. And it could come out of note. Like when he comes, he comes too. Okay. Like he ain't going to come lazy or mediocre. No. So Drake is battle tested. Yeah. So I mean, I'm fine True. with a big two. Big three had a bigger, a better ring to it because Ice Cube gave us the big three league. But J. Cole, <laughs> and it's so funny because y'all, I called Carla mm-hmm. and I said I was upset when when J. Cole first released it. I had to get it out before this podcast. Yes. Because I wanted to at least get most of the venom out of my system before we got on the <laughs> airwaves, right? Mm-hmm. And I said to Carla Shaquana Brown. You know and what? Shaquana is not really her middle name. First. <laughs> but I said to Carla Shaquana Brown, I said, Carla, I was like, he tried to respond. And she said, he also tried to play basketball. <laughs> you hate that. <laughs> Facts. And I, and I love Jake Cole, but remember that? He went to Africa yeah. to try to play basketball. Yeah. Listen, you ain't right. You ain't. <laughs> One thing we can say about J. Cole, he know his limitations. Yes, yes. Because he bowed yes. out of that league over there, too. <laughs> sure. Shout out to J. Cole. But you had a you know what's so crazy that we're even talking? We that we can only pick three MCs that are like hip hop is in shambles. Mm. And I know Big Sean is like you, you <laughs> I know. Shout out to Listen, Big Sean. So that's how you do his uh shout, tiny shout out to Big Sean. Shout yeah. out to Big Sean with his cute self. Yeah. But his dad bot is giving right now. <laughs> <laughs> but and we not yeah. well, I, no, I love it. Thing. I love it though. You know I love to see that though. I, I do. I love the fact like that it, it, I love seeing him in daddy mode. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Janae like it, guy. Mm. Right. <laughs> but I Big Sean reminds me, you know, when they when they getting ready to play double dutch and they be turning the rope. Uh, and the girl be standing on the side doing her arms in and out yeah. because she about to jump in the double dutch rope. Uh, I feel like that's what Big Sean been doing for the past couple years. <laughs> and they never let him get in the rope. As soon as he get in, somebody claps. I turn inflicted. Never yeah. claps. <laughs> <laughs> every time J. Cole, tr- I mean, every time Big Sean try to jump yeah. in the rope, somebody start turning inflicted. Yes. Yes. That's- every time, <laughs> every time, y'all do not give Big Sean a fair chance to get in the rope and jump. Oh God! And for y'all that don't know, that's too young to remember what double dutch is. Mm, it's jumping rope flicked. with two. Yes, <laughs> <And> flick- <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yo, so that was that was up top. I wonder if that's an up top thing or the like. I don't know. If you're from down yeah. south with an F, please yeah. let us know if you've ever heard afflicted. Yes, please, please. Because mm. for those that don't know, like. Cause I've, you know, we got to start from the beginning. You're mm. originally from up top. I'm still I'm up top, up. but now yep. she down south. So that's a good question. Cause I, I didn't know y'all called buggy carts buggies. Mm. And so but like when I got down here and heard that girl say, I'm fitting to tote my mama to the grocery store, but she hate when I be pushing the buggy. I said, I said, what did you just say? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm fitting to tote my mama to the grocery store <laughs> yes. and I hate pushing the buggy. I love I it said, though. What? I love buggy. I actually use buggy now instead of cart. You like, better. Crazy. Uh-uh. I love no. buggy. No, it's a cart. <laughs> No buggies, <laughs> punch buggies. That's it, right? That's how you said. No oh, buggy yeah. at the supermarket. You tripping? Yo, we straight got to do a, a north and south like we do. Back it's, this is we so do. Fun. It's, all it's so much. We it's so much we need to do on this podcast. But I yeah. promise you, we gonna get to it. Yeah, I think I'm. You know what? I think I'm a title today's episode. Flicked it. 
Because <laughs> there's so many people out here yeah. acting afflicted right now. It is. Oh, yeah. Mm. Title. It definitely has to be afflicted. Whole lot of afflicted food. Mm. Okay. I like that. All I right. like that. I want to take one more break. And then when we come back, I have a few things that I want to touch on. And then we're going to wrap up the pod. Okay. Yes. And and then and if it's anything that you want to get into, then we can go ahead and get into that. But yeah, I, I just, I did not mean to be ranting about J. Cole like you that. You are? Nah, that was, listen, this is good. That's good content, man. He pissed me off. It's good. Con- I love it. Wait till you see how it cut. <laughs> You tight. Yo, we'll take a break. I'll be right back. <laughs> this is on my nerves. All right, ICC friends, we are back. So just a few things that um I wanted to make sure we touched on Carla before we got out of here. So, you know, um, the title of today's podcast is Flicted, and I want to talk about a few flicted people. Okay. Um, first let's start with Jer- Gerard Carmichael. Uh, who I am so hurt to tell double y'all. Double flicted. He is double flicked. <laughs> God. Um, mm. Gerard has this reality TV show on Max, and it's called the Gerard Carmichael Show. And basically, his goal is to Truman show himself. And some of you may be familiar with that phrase and that sh- that movie and understand what it is. But he has cameras, and I feel like Gerard Carmichael told us he was gay, and we was like, okay. Mm. Then he did a stand-up special. Well, first he did the stand-up special, told us he was gay, Rathaniel. And we was mm. like, okay. Mm. Then he got an Emmy for the stand-up comedy special um, because it was so, it it was a chef's kiss. I'm not going to front over Rathaniel. Like that right. stand-up comedy special, it it was heartbreaking. It was it was deep. It was transparent. It was, it was just beautiful for a mm. stand-up comedy special. So he deserved that Emmy. Okay. Then he came out with another show where he was telling his parents and his family he was gay. And we was like, okay, we don't, Gerard, you gay. Okay, we get it. Right. We don't care. Like, it's not like you was little boosy and you announced you gay. Right. <laughs> okay. You yeah. were Gerard Carmichael and announced you were gay. Right. Okay. No car stopped in the street. There wasn't a solar eclipse. No, like, nothing <laughs> major took place. Okay, you're gay. That is your personal choice. That is your lifestyle. And as fans, we still love and accept you. It changes right. nothing about you except who you choose to get in the bed with at night. Mm-hmm. Okay. Exactly. All right, but I feel like he was like, I don't feel enough applause. <laughs> so I am going to make the Gerard Carmichael show on Max. Oh gosh, yeah. And I have to really, 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 really drive home the fact that I am gay mm-hmm. because y'all don't get it. And we're like Gerard. Yes, we, get we do. Right. We got it in Rathaniel. We got it in the special where you basically traumatized your mama for ratings and told your mama you was gay. We got it there. Right. And now. Girl, I have wrote on uh, Facebook, I think last week, I said, I love Gerard Carmichael. As a matter of fact, Gerard Carmichael is probably one of the kindest and sweetest celebrities I have ever met. And I'm going to stick beside him. Mm -hmm. The other day I wrote on the same Facebook page. Let me off the next stop. Of the Gerard Carmichael train. Let me out. <laughs> hey, Doe, let me out. Stop the car and let me out. <laughs> let me out. Carla, I know you haven't had the opportunity to watch this show. So for you and all the other ICC friends who have not watched the Carmichael show, Gerard is on this show licking and sucking white men's toes. Wow. He gets on hookup apps every free moment he gets. He literally has a, a a concert line of random men coming in and out of his house that he has sex with. He has a tub, mm. full size Nivea Jergens jar of booty butter. Oh wow! Because he is clapping cheeks on the regular, and it's like it's almost eerie. Spot, not it's, it's every, reckless. Not every, reckless. It's, no. Every negative stereotype that the gay community faces, Gerard Carmichael is enforcing it and to ah, top tier levels wow. on this show. And I'm like, 
I didn't even care about the fact that he's gay. I expected him to have gay relationships on the show or be kissing right. a man or all that. I'm, I'm not. But you didn't think it was to be the focus point. Yeah, I wanted the to like just point. really see like what you doing, Gerard. Like, let me see what you're doing in yeah, your free time. Yeah, it's like, more to you than your up. sexuality, right? It's more man, than this it. man is telling us he got a sex edition. He kicked off. We already talked about the whole situation with Tyler, the creator. In the second episode, he reveals that he likes to race play with his white boyfriend. Yeah, that's too much. And that he <laughs> make always jokes about how he's like a slave having sex with the master's son. So not funny. So not. That's like the worst joke <laughs> I've ever heard in my life, man. And he says that the boyfriend hates the joke, but he was like, I, lo I like the joke. It's for me. It's my, bye, Gerard. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. First of all, you got a whole sex addiction. You right. in therapy. You have a boyfriend, but the minute the boyfriend leaves, you get on an app and find people. He is literally calling people over to have sex with them who don't even have their face on their profile picture. Wow. He just looking at their stomach or their thighs or their butts and just calling them like Gerard, baby, unless you're going to give me another stand up comedy special or a, a, a fresh out, cool, funny sitcom. Miss mm -hmm. me. Yes, that's what I enjoy. Miss the me. Yeah, for real. You're being real much. flicked right now. Yeah. Very and, flicked. Wow. And, he is doing too much. much. And it has nothing to do with his sexuality. It's just the point that it's almost like. It's performative. Like it's almost like, look at me, look at me, look at me, yes. look at me, look at me. Yes. It's ridiculous. That's what it sounds like to me. I haven't even seen it, but everything that you're telling me, it's almost like just look. He just it's attention seeking. To it's this. not. It was, it's not serving a purpose. Right. It's not like <clears throat> someone said what Gerard Carmichael is doing with this show is putting the black que queer. I always my mouth. The black queer community. It's putting a lot of them in danger. Wow. And I was like, damn. Kind that makes sense. Yeah. Um, speaking of more afflicted people, um, Ioki <laughs> Lee Simmons was dating a 65-year-old man. Poor Ioki. Poor Ioki. She said that man want her boyfriend. Ain't that what she said? <laughs> first, no. So, Ioki, listen. Ioki, first of all, <laughs> Ioki got her mama and her daddy treats. Okay. Yes. Because yes. she got her dad. First of all, it's the fact that I usually don't pay attention to Ioki and, and Kimura and, and I really ain't studying nothing Russell Simmons got going on while nah. he's, he, while he's over in Bali laying low. Okay. Right? You better lay low. <laughs> um, <laughs> Trying to convince Diddy ass to come over there. Okay. Too. You might well come over here. Rent low. <laughs> <laughs> Everything like I'm living the hoses, the hoses <laughs> <back. laughs> at your beck and call. Okay, <laughs> they got relaxed laws over here. Relax laws. No, y'all, y'all mad at you for the relaxed laws. Yeah, they got relaxed laws over here. Like it just, but Ayoki Lee Simmons was photographed on a romantic, a romantical getaway, in the words of Flavor Flav, mm. um, in St. Bart's with a 65 year old restaurateur named Victorio, v Victorio Assoff. I'm going to say it's ass off or whatever. Mm. I don't know how you pronounce his last name. Victorio has an affinity for black women, especially under the age of 25. That's his bag. That's his bag. Now, to be fair, he was married for 20 years to a model who was also um, of a younger age. But <laughs> she decided to have an affair with her. I think with her twin sister's husband. Oh my it was God. something. It was something wild. So yeah. So their marriage ended around 2020, 2021, 22, something around there. But anyway, so he's over there with Aoki, and I'm just like, somebody grabbed a dewormer because anytime, <laughs> like, she is 21 years old, well, a Harvard graduate, not the dewormer. You, you over there letting a 65 year old man put 65 year old saliva in your mouth and anywhere else he saw fit. <laughs> and so I'm graphic. just get the dewormer. Get the so dewormer graphic. for the baby. Why you got to be so graphic though? Oh, I'm Bestie, sorry. Hold on. Zabi, breaking news. OJ Simpson passed away. What? It says OJ Simpson dies. Uh, family says battle with cancer. I just, just see it. Just came across. Wow. Oh, uh, rest in peace, OJ. Wow. You, you know Nicole going to be waiting it for him, right? Yep. <laughs> You all, oh, and it's too soon. Yeah, well, that man ain't even in the grips. <laughs> That's not funny. Yeah, why you would do that? That man ain't even, ain't even good in the grips. <laughs> 
I thank you for tuning wow. in to today's show. As mm-hmm. always, we thank you for being a part of the Ice Cream Combos podcast. Please drop down in the comments wherever you listen to share your thoughts, views, and opinions on today's podcast. Yes. Um, ICC. We all we got. Peace. Thanks for listening. See ya. <laughs>